Hello to my 145 subscribers who are yet to be 1000, that's the big target. Welcome back to the channel. You might have thought that I retired the Such a Hard Ass Rift series. Well, you're wrong. We still got lots to go. We still have lots of rifts that need to be properly explained due to not being properly explained by anybody. And today's riff is one of those. Now I have seen so much covers of this song on YouTube and tried so hard to understand this riff. And somehow I did, but only after so many tries. And I'm sure a lot of players out there are still trying to figure out this riff. Yes folks, it is Hammer Smashed Face by Cannibal Corpse. So yeah, this time I thought we should have a bass riff. And it's not a main riff, it's more like a transition from the intro to the first verse. So keep your eyes on my fingers, and before we start I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel so we can reach our big target. And also turn on the notification bell to get more videos. Now first things first, why is this song so difficult to understand? The main reason for that is the production quality. See, how the hell are you supposed to understand that? And aside from the production quality, a bass riff is usually more difficult to understand than a guitar riff because of the very low notes. The lower a note gets, the more difficult it is to guess. Now why is this riff so difficult to play? Well, it's a fast riff for sure, it's not slow, it's not Riders on the Storm. 192 BPM, how's that for a bass riff? And I almost forgot, you gotta play it with your fingers, yeah, so uh, put that pick away, I'm watching you. One more reason is string skipping. See, when using a pick, string skipping is a piece of cake. But today we're using our fingers, we just addressed that. Now we gotta learn how to play Hammer Snatch's Face, the bass riff. Time for your fingers to get This riff is comprised of five notes only. A sharp, B, C, E, and F. Five notes are enough to your fingers. Okay, so we're starting with the E note on the A string. And use your middle finger, not your index. Didn't mean to flip you off right there. Middle finger. Next note is the A sharp. This is where you use your index. The A sharp on the E string. So now we have this. Now here comes the difficult part. Now you're gonna use your pinky to jump from the A sharp on the E string to the B on the D string. This one right here. This is a string skipping part I was talking about. Now you might want to use your ring finger instead of your pinky in case you have a weak pinky. Now the next note is the F on the A string. Now if you play the B note on the D string with your pinky, you're gonna have to play the F with your ring finger. That's another tough part. But if you used your ring finger, it's easier to play the F with your middle finger. So you either have this, or this. Anyway, now you got this part. This one is the easiest. Open E string, then you play the B on that same string, then again you play the open E string, and then you play the C on that same string. Okay, so what do we got now? I know this is not the original tempo, but I always say this. Start slow, then build up some speed. If you're finding this a very difficult riff, it's okay, because as you can see, neither I can play it perfectly. Now I do want to talk about the right hand as well, or the left hand if you're left-handed. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm doing this. Watch my right hand. See, when I move from the F to the open E, I slide my index finger, like this. You can do that if you're still learning this riff and still finding it difficult. Damn, 
time that I kill my fingers. Good God, man, you got no heart. And there you go, how are your fingers doing? Now please, if you find any mistake in the way I'm playing this riff, please tell me in the comments, because honestly, I'm not sure if this is the correct way. And for anyone finding any difficulty, once again I'm telling you, start slow, then build some speed. And if you find the shrift to be impossible, the only thing I can tell you is, just keep trying. Try it over and over again, and finally you'll get it, that's for sure. It worked for me, so it's definitely gonna work for you. And it's okay to use sheet music or tabs if you still can't get it. I just hope I was able to give you the best explanation possible. One last thing is thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so we can turn this number into 1000. I cannot create 855 fake accounts, so I need your help and I would definitely appreciate it. Once again, thank you all for watching and I'm definitely gonna see you next time.